Good afternoon. Today we're headed out to Disney's Fort Wilderness Resort because in the building of Reflections of Lakeside Lodge, which is a new resort that will be opening near Fort Wilderness. So in the building of Reflections of Lakeside Lodge, they had to move the Tri-Circle D Ranch, which is where some of the horses from Walt Disney World live. So at Tri-Circle D Ranch, you can go and you can see some of the horses. Unfortunately, you can't pet or feed them, but you can get a really good look at them and take some pictures of them and get some more information about them because all of the cast members out there at Tri-Circle D Ranch are very knowledgeable about the horses. They also have pony rides. I'm not sure if those are at the new Tri-Circle D Ranch location or if they've moved it. We'll go and find out today. So let's head on out. All right, we've made it over to Disney Springs. Let's head down to the bus board and find out which bus goes over to Fort Wilderness. Then we'll go look at some horsies. We're headed to number 25, Disney's Fort Wilderness Resort. All right, I'm on the bus and I just noticed I'm on one of the new ones. Look at this. They got USB chargers underneath here. You guys know I love a good USB charger. Oh, I just realized King of the Bus was available. Should I go take it? So I decided not to because this is the air intake for the air conditioner and there are two other people on the bus with me. So uh, I'm just gonna kind of like sit back here behind my little, my barriers and my little cubby. And I got my little fresh air area here with the emergency exits cracked open. Well, we made it to Fort Wilderness. This is not the actual Tri-Circle D Ranch, but this is the Tri-Circle D Ranch trail ride location. They got all of the ponies all saddled up and ready to ride. I wonder how many people are actually going on rides today. Yeah, look, there they are. Well, that one doesn't have a saddle on it. This one does. Ooh. Back on a different bus, headed towards the settlement to try to find Tri-Circle D Ranch. As we travel through Fort Wilderness, there's kind of a lot of camp spaces are taken up by RVs. Oh, there's a couple, which is interesting to me. But the parks are not open yet. Here's our sign. It doesn't say anything, and it's in front of this huge, huge fence here. Back there is where hoop de doo is and like the shore where you can go and rent boats or take a boat over to Magic Kingdom when it's open. I think I'm, I think I'm going this way though. As I see a new building over here, even though it's not on the sign. Let's go find out. Ooh, it's nice looking. Wow. So it used to be kind of back over in that direction, back behind all of these fences, which are up for the building of Reflections of Lakeside Lodge. And now we're over here at Tri-Circle D Ranch. This is very nice. But you can already see the horses. And they've got health and safety reminders. Stay six feet apart, wear a mask, and wash your hands frequently. Wow. If this is what Reflections Lakeside Lodge is gonna look like, this is very nice. Wow. Ooh, this is nice. Hello. There's giant horses. Wow. Well, look at this. This is the wedding harness room. So all these harnesses are used for weddings. Huh. This calliope wasn't available for the longest time. Here we go. Press to hear the 1907 calliope. Do you guys hear it? That's not it actually playing inside of there. It's a recording of it playing, but that's what it sounds like. It looks pretty good still for being from 1907. Like we saw earlier, I believe they are still offering pony rides, although there are no ponies in here right now. Maybe they're all still up at the front. You can see it says ponies. There's nobody in here. This is where you would saddle up to ride. Oh yeah, this is like the, before it was a much smaller pony riding area. Now you got a pretty good loop to go around all through here. Wow, yeah, it's, it's pretty big. I'll have to ask him and see if they're still doing pony rides right now. Hey there, Grady. How you doing? Phil, you doing okay? You're pretty. These are big horses. This is a Clydesdale. Oh my goodness. This is Elsa, a Shetland pony, and Violet, who was born on the 21st of May. It's a, it's a little baby. I don't know if you guys can see, there she is. There's a whole display here about Disney and horses. 
Oh, and it tells you the different kinds of horses that are here. A Clydesdale, a Percheron, and a Belgian. Those are the three type of horses that they have here, aside from the ponies. And they've got some photos of Walt and horses. Here he is with a little baby horse. And then we've got different areas where horses are at Walt Disney World. Like you could have a Christmas carriage ride. They have character horses, pony rides, which we saw those up front. And I'm going to go over prices of things when we go up front because none of the none of the pony rides are happening out here currently because it's just too hot. They're thinking about putting an awning over the where the ponies go. It's pretty neat. Oh yeah, the headless horseman. Of my favorite horse. You can see there's Walt with that calliope that we saw. It's like they're during the refurbishment of it. You can see it being drawn through the streets here and it at a circus it looks like here. There's Tyson. He's a Percheron. A very large horse. Like a very large horse. He's taller than I am at his like shoulder, at his back, his rump. All right so now I want to head down to Pioneer Hall where Hoopty Doo normally runs. Hoopty Doo's not running currently. And uh, what else is down there? Like Crockett's Tavern and stuff. We're gonna see what else is down there. See what we can see from the shore. See what's going on. Maybe we'll be able to see some of reflections from down there. I don't know, probably not. It doesn't look like there's much to see. It looks like it's just like a whole bunch of nothing back there. The construction around here is actually pretty intense because I can't even remember what was here before. I think there was like a pavilion and oh no it's starting to rain i gotta get my umbrella up let me go try to find some shelter and on the other side of this construction fence is the former location of tri circle d ranch and this is also where you would come to do the pony rides this is where the pony trail was oh yeah here comes the rain horse drawn excursions a private ride for a carriage ride is 55 dollars it's good to know and this is where you would meet like i said over here at pioneer hall hoopty doo is not running right now so it has it all roped off. Let me use the bathroom here really quick. This is one of my favorite bathrooms to use. And mostly because of this beautiful tile artwork. I think they either got attacked by ants or they have fleas. Something like that. I was in the bathroom just long enough for it to stop raining. It is intensely humid out now. Whew. Wow. Oh yeah, back here behind Crockett's Tavern. Used to be a playground here and everything. Now it's all fenced off for construction. I wonder, it looks like it doesn't go very far. That was Mickey and Minnie's backyard barbecue. Looks like all of the trees are gone. Everything looks leveled. You know how you can kind of like see trees? Like if I look this way, there's just trees everywhere. But if we look this way, no trees, just sky. Let's head down towards the water and see what we can see in that direction. So wait, did they move the playground over to here? Kind of looks like they did, doesn't it? Because there definitely was a playground over here. Looks like it's not open currently though. Yeah, they got a sign outside that says playground temporarily closed and they took all the swings off too. Now here's the trading post where you can get just like your essentials. If you're doing s'mores, you can get some marshmallows and some graham crackers and some chocolate. It's not where we're headed. We're headed down to the shore here. Wow, yeah, the beach is, well, I, I don't know. Is, can I'm sorry, I gotta get closer to look, but it seems like they took over most of Fort Wilderness Beach here. Or Clementine's Beach. This is interesting. Yeah, that seems to be the... Oh, they, it looks like they extended the beach way down that way. Holy cow. But it's not really beach anymore, right? Because it's not on the water. It's just like a sandy area. At least we got tetherball. Wow, yeah. That sandy area just goes and goes and goes. Here it is. Bay Lake. Magic Kingdom. Just over there. Let's see if we can go out on the dock. As we walk out on the dock, it should be noted they have the social distancing markings on the dock for when the boat will be running, taking you over to Wilderness Lodge and Contemporary or straight over to the Magic Kingdom. Because this is one of the easiest ways to get to the Magic Kingdom if you're staying at Fort Wilderness. Oh. I don't know if you guys can hear that wind, but it's very windy out here. Also, here's a look back at Reflections Lakeside Lodge. Nothing but a big pile of dirt right now. Nothing to see. Oh, look at that. Boat transportation is running. It looks like maybe they're doing some training. Getting back into it. 
going between Magic Kingdom in here or between Wilderness Lodge in here. But they do have these signs outside that say our watercraft service is not operating at this time. Use alternate transportation. But it's interesting to see them out there running the boat. So just trying to get my bearings and I believe that construction back there is Tron in Magic Kingdom. I think. This is Discovery Island which used to be a zoological exhibit or attraction at Disney. It's since closed down. And if you look just through the trees there, that is Bay Lake Tower at Contemporary. Look at this boat is over here coming. I wonder what they're doing. Looks like they're pulling in the dock here. I don't think we can get on it because we can't. <laughs> but yeah, looks like they're doing some training maybe. As I was walking by this boat, I got real scared for a second. There's like a, like a CPR dummy or something in there. Yeah, they docked right there. But we can't get on it, just like, I wanted to reiterate that they are not running this for guests, they must just be doing some training, getting ready. I wonder if this area, this beach area that used to be part of Fort Wilderness will be part of the beach area for Reflections, because Reflections is kind of on the other side of these trees over here, the main area of it is on the other side of these trees, because that is where River Country used to be. I don't think any of the boats are available to rent right now, but here are the prices for when they are available. I do highly recommend renting a golf cart out here one day. It's super fun. With everything that's going on in the world, I kind of forgot about the fact that there's mosquitoes here and you should be wearing insect repellent. As we're walking back to the bus, passing by Crockett's Tavern, which I don't know if that's open or not. I do know that Trails End is not open because it's a buffet, but PJ Southern Takeout is available. Here's a quick look at the menu. Get some nice pizzas up here. Oh, a veggie burger. All right, let's head back up to the front of the resort and find out about the price of the pony rides. Because all the pony rides are up at the front of the resort currently, not back here at Tri-Circle D Ranch. Eventually they will be back here at Tri-Circle D Ranch, but they have to build some sort of awning or shade for the trail. It looks like we just missed the bus. All right, now we are back up front where the pony rides take place. Let's see if we can find out some prices. Oh, Hershey. Hello, Hershey. And this is one of the ponies that kids can ride. You said 12 and under? Or did you? Nine, nine and under. So this is a, okay. So this is a pony that kids nine and under can ride. And it is $8 for one lap around this little trail here, $12 for two. And then anybody over nine can go on a trail ride with $55 per person on the bigger horses. What's, what's this one's name? Milo? How much fun. So after talking to the cast member a little bit, all of the horses under here are the trail horses. So these are the horses that you would get on to ride on the trail. Like this is the $55 trail ride horses. And they said that anything over 14 hands, two inches is considered a horse. And anything under that is considered a pony. Which I thought was really interesting. This is something that we want to do someday, but they don't allow cameras on. I asked them about GoPros. It's kind of like a gray area. So we'll see what happens. I'll give it a try one day and come out here and do a trail ride on a horse with a GoPro. See if they let me. Also, as a side note, I just missed my bus again. <laughs> All right, so we'll wait till the next Disney Springs bus comes and then we're headed back home. I wanted to show you the social distancing markings here. It's like these little green bubbles everywhere. I don't really know what the, if, if they're, they're not really lines, they're just kind of spaced out. So your family would just kind of stand here and then another family could stand over there and one could stand there and one there. Yeah. And they also have, of course, hand sanitizing locations all over the place. I found a little hill to stand on top of where I can see the horses a little bit better. So these are the trail horses right here. I think all of these horses live in Tri-Circle D Ranch. And they, they get brought out here every morning to do trail rides. Because I don't, I don't think there's a barn over here. My carriage back to Disney Springs awaits. Well, it looks like there's a storm rolling in. So I'm headed back home to see Jackson and Jen. Seems like Disney Springs is a little bit busier than it has been in the past. But still not too bad. Uh, here's a fun thing that you can do while at Disney Springs. These tiles are 18 inches. And in order to stay six feet away from people, just count out four tiles and then you'll know that you're six feet away from anybody around you. Those are 12 inches. These are 18. Oh yeah, definitely a big storm coming. I feel like it's coming at us from all angles. All right, we're back home. 
what an excellent day. It's really neat to see all of the horses and all the different kinds of horses and learn a little bit more about all of the horses at Fort Wilderness. If you guys are interested in Fort Wilderness or if you just want to see a more detailed tour, we have done an entire tour of all of Fort Wilderness Resort. And we'll put a link to that video in the description down below. In the full tour of Fort Wilderness, you can also see the old location of Tricircle D Ranch and the old location of the pony rides. Another thing, when we were out at the dock today, we noticed a list of all kinds of activities available at Fort Wilderness, and we've actually done quite a few of those. We've gone fishing, we've rented golf carts, we've rented sprite boats, we've rented a pontoon. And so if you'll check in the description down below, there'll be a whole list of videos of different things that we've done. So these might be videos that you can use if you're planning a trip out to Disney because anybody can book these activities at Fort Wilderness even if you're not staying on property, like we have done them. We went out and we rented a golf cart. We did a pontoon. We went fishing. We've done the Sprite boats all while not staying on property. It's just little things that you can plan ahead and do. And they're all very fun. So there you have it. That was our trip out to Fort Wilderness and Tricircle D Ranch. An excellent day. It was fantastic getting back out into nature and seeing all kinds of the natural environments around Fort Wilderness Resort. So with that being said, we are off and we will see you guys tomorrow. And now it's time to help. And today's organization is the National Park Service. So because I was out in nature today and really had a good time and really enjoyed being out and about, we thought that today's organization should be the National Park Service. So we'll leave a link in the description down below to the National Park Service. And on the website, you'll find different tools where you can find national parks around you. So if you're interested in getting back out into nature, you can also volunteer for the National Park Service. So please have a look in the description down below at the website. And thank you for watching this video.